welcome back to my channel if you're new here this is grace and this morning i'm going to do something different on this channel my husband is someone that inspired me a lot considering his journey from college to this present time so i will just uh bring him on the hot seat this morning before he goes to work to share with us what inspires him to become who he is today so ademi can you please come real quick before you go to work and share with us what inspires you to become a nurse today because i know from your background you came from a accounting education and now you are a nurse so what inspires you for other viewers out there probably considering to do one thing and they are they are like can they can they do it can they really do it in the real sense so can you please share with us what inspires you today to become who you are on the us seat this is my husband before he goes to work real quick this morning can you share with us what inspires you to become who you are today okay <laughs> all right uh you welcome back again uh well the house seat this morning and i'm trying to you know catch up for what well, anyway, uh, it's worth talking about. So, um, you know what? One yeah. of my people that, you know, people that inspire me, you know, well, really? you're always pushing things together. <laughs> anyway, uh, for people out there, like you were thinking about, you want to be a nurse. <laughs> like maybe you are people out there, they, you're thinking you want to be a nurse and you think like, oh, can I do it? Can I, you know, can I, is it a shape of it for me? Like, you kind of skeptical, like worry about how come I don't have any background in science. I can't do this. I can't. So let me just share you a little story. I won't really take a lot because I have to hurry up too. So uh, my name is Femi. As you know, maybe you've yeah. seen me on this channel. Uh, I'm a registered nurse now, but from my journey, so I came from Nigeria. So education, accounting, and all this thing. That's what I did. So I have my college degree, bachelor's degree in, uh, in educational life. So I wanted to be a teacher. So uh, like a lecturer. So I want to, you know, start teaching people because my father and my mother, they were yep. teachers. Mm -hmm. So and I kind of inspired that way. But just to cut the story short, um, you know, I find myself in America. Let's just see. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, I was like, hmm. I started working as an engineer, so education to engineering job. Mm -hmm. So I work with uh, this, this manufacturing companies that manufacture products for cars, how many years? Cars, like um, eight years, mm -hmm. imagine. But I wasn't satisfied. The first day I came to that job, I was like, I'm not gonna last here. I was like, Yeah, it's one person that always aspire to to gain more knowledge, aspire to become better than who, who he is. So that's it. So thank you. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm not going to last here, but I don't know how I spent eight years in that, but it's not a wasted here because I was like, let me start doing something. Even when I'm working here, I can still do some stuff, you know, in my background, to like going to us, you know, going to school, getting my prerequisite. And everything i have to come down to the low level because i didn't have a background in science i never did you know my we are family of four all my brother did science they do physics chemistry yeah the only one that did accounting yeah, study accounting. i just went to commercial class mm -hmm. i i said i i, I can't follow everybody's full step <laughs> i gotta be on my own you know well yeah, you know, I know wait you know little kids you just make rational decision without no you don't know the, the reason why you're doing some stuff but anyway that's another story entirely so i started going to you know like this uh, uh high school you know that's where the you can get your you know your biology your chemistry and your i have to start all all these things like doing like evening classes to get my biology, my chemistry, mm -hmm. uh, physics, and uh, one other class. You have to do maths too. So, was so this so easy for you to cross to study chemistry? Considering your background from accounting education, was it really, really easy for you well, like that? 
it's not gonna be easy but you know your mentality has developed so you gotta be hungry for something so you're just gonna step down from it you know you know from where you have realized that there's something at stake so mm -hmm. if you're fighting for something you gotta be hungry and be passionate about it and humble humble yourself you know don't just say that oh i'm this and that i can't go back to class and i can't do all these things it's worth it <laughs> humble yourself go back to where you need to go back to and start the journey when you start today today is out of it you know that's how you progress it's very hard to start but when you start you progress so just to cut the uh, long story short i went to you know the evening class to start doing all those classes math and you know what a tree cannot make a forest i started mm -hmm. talking to all these little kids that are in high school you know asking them oh how do they do this Start using youtube you know doing all my research to know more and boom i finished that so i have my you know for how many this, years how many years did you i don't think i i have, um so for that prerequisite is kind of different because i don't have a background you know in science so i have to do that one just to get into a college and register for you know to start doing the prerequisite so but if you have like a background you know you can just start you know all this prerequisite in the in the school well i have to get an admission into school mm -hmm. with that you know chemistry uh, biology and all this i did biology but you know i just want to have everything together just to refresh my memory because the biology i had like since 19 many years ago uh, i think it's 2002 or three yeah so it's a long time that i graduated from you know from high school so and you know things you know it's not fresh again so i have to mm -hmm. start i have to do all those things the classes you know that's you know that's you know revolve in that in that class so i did everything and i went to school and i'm still doing my full-time job you know doing everything and was just it so easy like this? it's not gonna was be it easy. easy for you it's not gonna be easy so but you know you are hungry for something you're passionate for something that's a drive that's a force because now see what drives me to do this i came to started working ten dollars an hour i think that's 2013. oh really ten dollars an hour that's what i earned well you know <laughs> you never know <laughs> ten dollars an hour that's what i heard and i was like this is telling on my body i can't be doing this and working nice shit doing mm -hmm. anything why other people are making you know huge money mm -hmm. and we all have the same brain and one thing is that if you don't drive yourself there's no way what do you want to show to god for god to support you you have to present something to god so that god can help you as long as you can you know learn your your mother tongue without teaching you you're smart i'm telling you the point hmm. like you're smart you think you're not smart <laughs> one thing that i that drove me out of call uh, you know from you know not going on science i thought i'm not smart oh, i wow. thought i can't do it i thought like you know it's very hard but sometimes you don't taste something before you make judgment like hey you can't do this but you need to put effort even those that you think they are smart they are smart mm -hmm. you have to learn their philosophy you can just say that oh what makes you smart what do you do you have to learn everything but that's another story i don't want to drag race mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. but now so i get into manchester community college i started doing my prerequisite mp i'm telling you my mp1 i got 98 percent see that wow you man anatomy and physiology wow. 98 percent just a two, two point two point you yeah. know i was just you know reading i want to learn about my body i want to learn everything i watch youtube videos i watch all the resources and i contacted those people that have you know passed through the class what's helping you you know do a real research about the professor and also work with the professor you know when you are in class the professor they are not your enemy they want you to come today yeah. and ask them questions 
they don't want you to fail they want you to pass i say sir you know uh this is me my name is femi and i just want to introduce myself i want you know i want to make sure that i pass this class to do what is right i want to you know just be friendly today i want you to just you know tell me some things that i need to do for studies extra studies you know all those things that i look they will tell you they may not tell you the direct question but they will show you the way how so that you can navigate and you can read and eventually you'll pass so that's one of the tricks that you need to do so cut the story short you know i still doing my prayer side i'm still working but now it down on me when in that place of work someone like a graduate came in we we're doing the same job and me that was earning I don't know what I'm earning. I think I'm earning less than because you know ten dollars. No, 2013 I started ten dollars. So you know every year you get like maybe yeah, twenty cents, twenty all those things. Cents. It's not even up to four dollars. It's gonna be increasing your money, and that's not what you wanna dwell in. Yeah. Especially we like we came all the way from you know different Africa. countries, mm -hmm. African Asians that we came to this land. We want to strive. We want to, you know, we want to, you know, use every opportunity that we have here, not just, you know, sit down here and want to settle for less. Mm -hmm. So I was like, now the person that was in college came in and they got him into that job and it started twenty twenty six dollars an hour for oh, this really? person, and we're doing the same job. That's very ridiculous. I was like, really. Just did because they, I don't know. Did they study engineering or something? Yeah, he studied something related to that. But I was trained in that. I didn't have a degree. Yeah. You know, okay, you don't have that. a degree. This is where United States is where education works. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a degree. And please, if you are going to any you know, degree, don't just have depth on a necessary degree that will not hear you something. Hmm. That's another thing. A lot, a lot of people, they say, oh, they want to choose this. You know that one of these things, yeah. and you end up having a loan, different loan, without handing up, without using that certificate. It's not worth it. I know not everybody gonna become a nurse, a nurse but yeah. choose a career that you know that you can earn more. That is from. relevant. Yeah, that you're not just gonna hold debt, and that and that and that. My time is going because I don't wanna be late. Well, so stop the story cut, uh, just to you know keep you just in a recap um so i started i was like no this person is earning money no i mean you know and we are doing the same job and it's now claiming seniority over me i wow. almost started the job like year of experience i had but it's still showing that i have the certificate mm -hmm. i said well you were just straight <laughs> I'm, well i'm a trainer <laughs> so i just trained i was the one that even trained him oh really you trained job. him yeah oh. Well, when I got to know how much is making in America, they won't tell you what they're making. Wow. But it's me that I'm in case it is. I want to know. I want to mm -hmm. do all my research because they will tell you they can hire me and you now. Mm -hmm. I may be earning more than you. Oh, wow. And they won't say, don't tell anybody. You don't tell people what you heard. All right. So when I discovered I was getting $26, like what? Six dollars to like probably $10 cent and some cents. I don't think I'm maybe. But I, I think I've moved a little bit to 15, 16 or something oh. like that. Well, it's, there's, the difference still, is still it's much. It's clear. It's mm -hmm. clear. And, and my body is, you know, hence, I, I work night shifts. It's very hard. When you work night shift, it's very hard. So, and after then, I was like, my wife came in 2017. Mm -hmm. So, we started this journey together. And I started doing my prayers before my wife came in. And you know, I still continue and still continue. So along the line, I was like, hmm, I think I need to stop my job and focus on this school. So after I finished the clerical side, I had all those things now I need to apply to nursing school. And I think that's the, the time yeah. COVID eat. So that's when the reality set in. I was like, okay, I quit my job and I have some funding that I've saved and some other resources that are built in. You may not quit your job because nursing school, you can still do some, maybe pageant and all those yeah. things like 
not a full-time job but i just really want to focus but along the line when i started running out of cash i, I start you know, job again, job again. Yeah, I but what the job i did was the one that would allow me to read like you know like home care something that you go to someone's house and sleep overnight and you know all you just you're gonna be awake you can bring your book there do your assignment do all those things they may pay you fifteen dollar job and all those things yeah. but you know that you have all nights to study you know maybe when the your clients and the goal wake up is the focus you yeah know, you know so, they go already right so when your clients wake up you know you can just do a job that will give you the avenue so that you can able to read and study and do all those things i pack my book my laptop you know i just sit on the couch you know watching the, my you know my clients on the camera and you can do that kind of job that give you first first uh, flexibility, flexibility so that you can able to you know do you know that works along your goal so well i got admission into a university it's a great school expensive but it's a great school i love the people out there you know you know my God. and so this is how i started and like I said, a tree cannot make a forest. I don't like to do things alone because I like to share people's idea, mm -hmm. bring everybody's mm -hmm. idea into table. And that's why I said a tree cannot make a forest. Let me you are looking to start in a new uh, 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 nursing school. Let me tell you, you can't do it alone. No, whatever professional career, not yes. just nursing. You need to have friends, people that you yeah. want to work together. Like a thing. So now when we when i started nursing school so i see a bunch of people you know it's like okay hi and people that we speak the same language hi so how do we do this how do we run this you know and all of a sudden we just have a bunch of 13 people you know you know africa uh also spanish brazil you know we just you know had a group together so 13 people that's how we form a campus that we read like together a team, yes. yep the team the teamwork makes the dream work mm -hmm. right yeah so mm -hmm. we form 13 people so this is what you know i did like i i told them i'm not a leader but i'm a facilitator so i don't want to claim responsibility that i'm a leader or something but i want to facilitate this group so that we can all achieve because we have a common goal together so I say, this is what it is. We have to bring materials together. We have to do Zoom together. We have to study together. Someone have to come over and teach. We do Zoom. You know, we kind of teach. The way you teach me, I mean, I understand. And sometimes I use some terms that makes you remember something, you know. And these are the tricks that can make you remember something. So as people, the way people will teach ourselves to learn and to do everything. And we remind ourselves of our assignments, due projects, all those things. We encourage ourselves, we you know, motivate ourselves. And sometimes maybe five people will be down, we check on each other, we send a text message, and we know respond. We have a group chat. We say, hi, what's going on? How is your clinical rotation? This and this. Oh, I'm struggling with these assignments. What resources can I use? So this is how we help ourselves. And we were passing out the class. We're passing out the class. Till the final one. But, you know, just, you know, a little disappointment. Someone got pregnant, you know, among that team. But, you know, had a little chat, you know, difficulties in concentrating because it's very hard. You know, was facing that little challenge of, you know, school and all these things. So, you know, it, it's a good thing, you know, but at the same time, you know, some, some challenges are going to come, like family challenges and all those things. So, it will, you know, it will kind of not able to make the, the final class. So you have to repeat that class. But the 13, uh, the 12 of us will graduate. And today now, we are all nurses because we made it work for ourselves. And one thing is that if you are looking to be a nurse, no matter background, no matter what, even if your English is not clear and you learning that English, Please, I encourage you today to go for that dream. In any classes that you want to do, if you do it, try it. Do your best. God will support you. God will, you know, you know, he say, he will bless the work of our hands. Mm -hmm. 
what is the work you are presenting for God to bless? You know, every effort you make, God will bless it. So I encourage you, no matter profession you want to go, make sure it's not the one that we gives you debt. And now, just a reality. I'm a nurse. I came in 2013 <laughs> and I work with federal government. And, you know, my loan, they're going to pay it. Imagine that. So there's a lot of opportunity for you out there. Any country which you are, do research. Know what passion, you know, you know, know what area you want to really concentrate. And if you have children, they may think they know who you are. Please encourage them to choose a career that they will not just have student loan on. Relevant. Relevant that things mm -hmm. that they will enjoy and they will love. Now, uh, a teacher <laughs> to a nurse. To a nurse. Mm -hmm. That's kind of change, you know, you know, some changes happen in life. That we just have to embrace. Embrace. And you don't know where God is leading you to pray and walk hard. Walk and pray. And walk hard. My wife, she's a huge support. Mm -hmm. You know, we walk it together and it works. So, and um, I know the fear of unknown is what killing people, burying the talent in you. You're smart. You can do it. I don't believe in myself that I can go to a nursing class, but I found out the journey become, you know, easier and easier as I put my attention, as I have God to take over, you know, and I create that environment that can support my dream, not struggling alone, but sharing other people's ideas. So, what are you doing today, my wife? You said it all, like embracing uh new, new change, working on goals, and working as a team and focusing on the goal that you want to do better than who you are. So we should embrace change and desire to become better than who we are right now so that's what i think i learned from what you've said so far and i hope you've been inspired <laughs> oh my goodness i hope you have been <laughs> i hope you are inspired because he inspires me a lot and he motivates me he drives me to do better so that's why i'm like okay let me just bring in this money to share with us what's inspired him and i know we can learn one or two things from him for those people probably considering to change career and you're not motivated i hope this motivates you this morning that you can do it you can do it you can become whatever who you are even at whatever stage of life that you are i believe that i can become better than who i am so Absolutely. so you have <laughs> now from ten dollars, <laughs> yeah, you know what it is now. Just research on how nurses make now from ten dollars and see yeah. that don't miss up. Yeah, a lot of opportunity just because of fear. Mm -hmm. You fear will kill you. Mm -hmm. Fear will prolong things. It make life difficult. It makes you struggle and struggle. But close your eyes <coughs> for that period of time. Concentrate on it. And they it go. become, you know, shrink. You know, it become, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller until you finish it. But if you keep, you know, procrastinating, it becomes. And the more you grow, uh, you know, the more you are, you are aging, the more it's getting difficult for you. Why not start today? I saw sixty something year old woman that we graduated. Yeah, from. I saw them. So like age, I was there. It's not a, a barrier. barrier. Mm -hmm. You can learn. You know, you can do it. The something year old woman yeah. had a nursing degree. Please go for your drink. I'll see ya. I hope you learned something. Let me work. let me know what you learned in the comment section. Your take home from 
his experiences so far that he shared with us and i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and also share with other people i will see you in the next one Bye bye